Hey, hey, it's Michelle here with your encouraging word for Wednesday. Today we're going to look at James 1, 19b through 20. It says everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Listen, that verse starts off with everyone. That means all of us. He's talking to all of us. We should be quick to listen. I know that for many of us, when we're talking to somebody, we're literally thinking in the back of our mind how we're going to respond before that person is even done talking. And if we're doing that, we're not listening very well. And sometimes listening means simply just being with somebody. You know, if somebody is going through a hard time, Sometimes they don't always have a whole lot of words to speak, but they just need somebody to be there with them, to listen to their heart, to understand where they're at and where they're coming from so that we can just be available for them. We just need to be available for them, be available to listen. The verse also says that we are to be slow to speak. Now, sometimes we can just get so fired up so quick and the words that come out of our mouth are not godly. They do not bring about the desire or the righteousness that God desires. And then we are left trying to apologize for those words or we're left with feeling guilty or ashamed of what we have said. So we just really need to be slow to speak. And the other part here says slow to become angry. So that doesn't mean that there's never a time for us to be angry. I mean, obviously, we've all probably experienced anger at some point in our life. But we're to be slow to become angry. That means we're not supposed to just fly off the handle, you know, without really thinking about or processing what is going on. And when we are quick, to become angry, we should also be quick to repent because that anger also does not bring about, it does not produce the righteousness that God desires. So I just want to encourage you today to spend time with the Lord, to focus on the Lord and what his desires are so that you can pray about developing or producing those desires in your life so that you can just bring God glory. And that's what we as Christians are literally called to do no matter what anyway. We are called to live lives that bring God glory glory. But in order to do that, we must be reading the word. We must be following what it says. We must be applying the principles that we learn to our life. You know, living this Christian life is not about just calling ourselves Christians. You know, I've heard lots of people talk about how they have been so offended by Christians because they say that they're Christians and then they don't act like it. Now, that's something that we're responsible for, okay? As believers in Jesus Christ, we're responsible for our behavior. We're responsible for our words, for our conduct, for our character. And we need to be in the word of God and spending time with God and obeying his word. And when we don't, we need to be quick to repent so that he can continue to grow us up, to mature us, to develop our character so that we can bring God glory by producing the righteousness in our life that God desires. And righteousness is right living. So we just want to be right living before others and before God, simply because out of our love for Jesus Christ, we want that. We want that in our lives. We want to bring God glory. So I hope this word encourages you to spend time with the Lord. Again, just spend time with the Lord. Read his word, meditate on it, memorize it, pray it, and, and watch those, those character traits develop in your life as you are consistently, consistently in the word of God, consistently meditating on his word, 
memorizing scripture, quoting it over your life, then you will begin to produce the righteousness in your life that God desires. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you for your patience. Lord, you are slow to become angry. You are slow to speak, but you are quick to listen. Lord, help us to develop those character traits in our own lives so that we can bring you glory by our right living. Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that word encourages you. If it does, please like and share and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below so that we can just continue this conversation. And also subscribe to my newsletter so that you never miss an encouraging word because I put a new video, a new encouraging word here every Wednesday. All right, take care. God bless.